and welcome back to the Great Kururuku Seed Catching Contest! I am your host and MC, the Musical Gamer, and today we find out who wins! Me, with 482 seeds. Well, crap! Looks like we screwed this up royally. And the person with the least amount is... Croy, with 34 seeds. Wait, what? Me? Just wandering around aimlessly at first. Hey, hey, quiet down. A promise is a promise. Croy, you will have to do whatever I tell you to. Damn it! This couldn't have happened at a worse time. Fine, what is it? <laughs> okay, follow me into the cottage. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Wasn't that cottage on fire just a minute ago? I don't like where this is going. Mm. I've got bad feelings about this, guys. Oh, I can't see anything. Are you ready? Um, hold me tight. What was that? You promised, remember? You have to do what I say. I just didn't think you'd want it to be like this. Okay, sure. Yeah, I remember. Why not? Yay, art! <laughs> How does it feel? Um, well, I don't know. Why am I doing this? Because I told you to! Well, yeah, but are you fine with this? It's more like you're doing a favor for me. How so? By the order you're giving to me. Well, of course. I'm a dive therapist, aren't I? Huh? Therapists are supposed to bring out the hidden desires of their clients. We're not supposed to just do whatever our clients ask. Every therapist is supposed to question and observe their clients and seek out their real desires. And this is my desire? You've got to be kidding. Well, didn't you just say that this was like doing a favor for you? Huh. Just relax. This is an imaginary world. It's not going to affect reality in any way whatsoever. The real Lady Cloche and Kakona will never know about this either. You're free to do whatever you want, so enjoy yourself. It'll help you in real life, too. Huh. There's so much stress and pressure in real life. If you take it back with you to reality, it'll cause a big mess and you'll never turn back to normal. But if you take care of it here, it'll be disposed of quietly. Luca, do you do this with other people? No, I can promise you that. I can even show you proof. I'm only doing this for you. I, I wouldn't do it for anyone else. But you said this is your job. I'm sorry. I was lying to myself. I was too embarrassed to tell you the truth. I wanted you to hold me for my own desires. Luca. Croy, I love you. Please hold me tighter. Um, I... I collected all those Kururuku seeds so that I could do this with you. <laughs> Sorry. Luca? I'm so happy. Me too. And everything comes crashing down. What? Of course. Oh, what? There's no more voice acting all of a sudden? Great game. How long are you going to be doing this? You're never going to be able to get out of here. What? No. How can this... This... This is... Kogana, Lady Cloach! They're already gone. They're just figments of Luca's imagination. Anyway, go find a way of paradigm shift while I stop this eternal loop. Uh, oh, alright, got it. Luca, let's stop this already. You can't change anything by doing this. Shut up. I can't be satisfied by creating shallow relationships with people using dive therapy. I said shut up. What are you doing here anyway? I... I'm going to be freed. By Croy. Well then, uh, how do we get this Luca out of her prison? Uh, 
Uh, it, it's time to bust you out. It, you realize something? What did you realize? This world is a complete imaginary world. Nothing will happen if it's not the owner's will. But I found one loophole. A loophole? Yes, the umbilical cord that connects the imaginary world and my spiritual world. The imaginary world is made up from my knowledge and past experiences. The memory hole. A place I can't even control because it's so vivid in my mind. And that's the security hole. The memory hole. You can't regulate a memory with so much impact. You can't arrange that memory to make an imaginary world. But there is one place in this world where that security hole exists. Uh, wait, what? Oh no, you're back! You're letting someone else know about your own security hole. I'm counting on him. I know, Croy will solve that problem for me. I believe in him. Oh, well, thanks, Luca. You know, it kind of sucks that this might be the last time we're in Luca's Cosmos here the rest of the game. <laughs> This is one hell of a place to end off, end off on. You can't protect yourself by killing yourself. Um. Oh. Recipes for dive therapy. Recipes to enslave people. How could I share that with anyone else? These are my secrets for keeping my reputation. This girl forcefully lets you into this world. I'm sure you already know what that means. Croy, take this harvest cane to the security hole. This world will collapse. The wall will too. Hurry, take it. Shut up. Okay. Uh, just give me the goddamn cane and we're gonna make a break for it. Seems like a plan. I cut it off. There was so much resistance though. I think it's because the quality of this world is declining. The hole is getting bigger. Did Luca do this? Considering we're talking about all forms of Luca. Ah, was that cabin the cord? Take the cane and get to her. Did you just say take the cane and get to her hole? God damn it, game. I swear I should have an innuendo counter for this. I would be here all day editing videos. I'm not doing that. We finally get the first song magic of the goddamn level. This level's gonna take a while. We gotta find the right place. Um, oh, I'm, I'm half tempted to... We've got so much DP, we might as well check out all these places. Oh, really? All I'm gonna be doing is just spending DP? Then forget it. I'm going straight to... Straight to the horse's mouth. As it were. Uh, whoa, what? What? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Goro? What is this? Goro, what are you doing? That is a very fair point. I haven't seen you at all this level. Important key, stay away. Holy crap! What is going on? Goro, what is this supposed to mean? Goro? Who? I'm the key keeper. What are you, Sora? What in God's name is happening? I'm so confused. I'm so lost. The world is splitting. This does not sound like a tasty, delectable dessert to my ears. I could go for a banana split. I'm not even a big fan of bananas. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, what's to know you're back to normal? What in God's name is <laughs> happening here? Reception rumble. Fine. Whatever. Go save Luca. And now we need a GTFO. I want to stay pretty. I want to be someone that Croy expects me to be. I don't want to be show him anything else. Sure, I don't want to show it to just anyone, but I'm betting on Croy. That's your selfish mind. 
Plus, you seem to be forgetting something in all your excitement. What? Croy's feelings. You don't know that he really wants to keep going. Plus, it's normal for anyone to back off after seeing this insane world. Croy. Croy, are you going to be with me even after seeing this? What? The world ahead of us will be nothing like what this is. It will be very cruel. You know, you can't just walk into that kind of world. Do you care enough about me to go through that? I'm sorry, Luca. I don't think I can handle that kind of responsibility. Oh, good. I see. Okay, thank you for your honesty. I won't ask why, so don't worry. Anyway, if that is so, let's end it here. This isn't going to ruin what we already have. This will only help us keep the relationship that we have. Thanks for everything. I've never let anyone this far into my Cosmosphere. I feel like we've gotten so close. That's enough to make me happy. Hopefully we can keep being friends like we always have. Yeah, me too. You're pretty understanding, kind of surprising. I can't just force her, plus, I can't keep protecting Luca because... No need to say the rest. This is, this is because I will get jealous. Oh. <laughs> you should do your thing and protect the one you want to. A person can only protect one other person, so... If you have a time to... If you have a time to be here, go to that person's Cosmosphere. Oh, so do we not actually get to complete level 5? Hmm. That's a shame. We do not actually get to complete level 5, but... Wow, that was... <laughs> That was pretty much it. So we did get the song magic from level 5, but we were not able to get her level 5 costume, which is, you know, it's fine with me, I suppose. So we got a little bit more song magic out of Luca. Um, super potential, reception rumble. Goro's chaotic dance of an attack. And what was the other one we got? Oh, was it um an easy course? No. Hidden Enchant? Yes, it was Hidden Enchant. Thorn Princess. So, she's got two new songs, but this is as strong as Luca is going to get for the rest of the game. We can't go any further into a Cosmosphere, because we chose Cloche in the beginning. It's just the game's way of blocking you from going any further. So now, since we have already voted and we've decided we're going to do Jackley's Cos Cosmosphere all the way to the end, we will start diving into Jackley next time. Thank you all for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, follow me on Twitter for news and updates. Voting as well as um, other things pertaining to the channel go on there, so you can check me out there. Also, just drop me a line. Say hi. I appreciate that too. I'm a friendly guy. Uh, also, check out my Patreon page. Donations I get there help me keep the channel going. Also helps me afford upgrades to my current equipment, like new components for my computer, as well as new microphones. Also new games for me to do on the channel. So, thank you all for watching. This is The Musical Gamer, signing off. See you guys next video.